Game one of the World Series between the Yankees and the Dodgers lived up to its billing. This breakdown is brought to you by Blitzball Battle 5. I'm jumping straight to the bottom of the 10th inning. The Yankees just took the lead. They have Jake Cousins in, who is really good against righty batters because he has this slider, which is crazy. So that's strike one. He usually throws it for the swing and miss like that. Doesn't get the swing and miss on Smith there. That's the other pitch to sinker. Fans are worried. Three outs away from losing in L.A. Again, drops it in for a strike. I'm going to rewind and just show you that pitch slowly because it is crazy. And to righty batters, it looks like it's going at them, so they give up on it, and then it dives into the zone. It's a nasty pitch. Looks like wiffle ball. Throws it again, gets the swing. It's bad contact. Juan Soto walks backwards. The Yankees are two outs away from winning game one. Now a lefty comes up. That pitch isn't as effective to lefties, but the Yankees have used a lot of relievers. The Dodgers have great balance in their lineup. Cousins has to face Lux. Not getting any swings, not getting any swings, and then doesn't hit the zone. So he walks Lux, the eight-hole hitter, to bring up Tommy Edmond, the nine-hole hitter, who is a switch hitter and decides to bat lefty. Gets that call strike. I don't think that was there. And we're rubbing our hands and we're getting nervous but excited. Gets the head call strike. So he's gotten both sides. And the Yankees fans are like, okay, I don't believe in this, but okay. Goes for the slider again on the outside. One and two now with the runner on first base. I am desperately rooting for a double play ball as a Yankee fan. And we get a grounder to second. Can't come up with the ball. I don't think they would have turned two, but they would have got one. Because now Otani's coming up. Over sliding this much causes such a ripple effect in the game. If he stops that ball and he's able to throw it to first and get the out, first base is open. Lux is on second base. They probably intentionally walk Otani, the lefty, keep Jake Cousins on the mound to face Mookie Betts, the righty, for the final out. And that's a situation where the Yankees like the matchup. Instead, he overslides the ball, doesn't stop it. They get no one out. First base is not open, so they go to the bullpen and they bring in Nestor Cortez Jr., who has not pitched in a long time, like three weeks, four weeks, hasn't been in a postseason game, also not a reliever. He does have good numbers against Otani, so they go to him because they don't think they're going to be able to double up Otani because he runs so damn fast. They want to strike out. They go to Nestor. Bit of a crazy move. But Nestor pitches with, uh, you know, some gusto sometimes. First pitch, they go fastball inside. It's really like dead center. It's 92. But Otani puts it in play, and Verdugo makes a spectacular play. Tracks it down. Goes over the wall. But you can see the umpires. You can see this umpire runs out and says, no, he, he went out of play with the ball, and then he threw it in from out of play. And you can see this umpire say, you go to third. Because basically it's like when you throw the ball and it goes into the dugout and the runners advance. But an, an amazing play by Verdugo, his second amazing play of the game. And if that left hand, is he, if he's able to stop his momentum with his left hand and those fingers right there and not completely flip over, that runner doesn't go to third. And it stays first and second. And that probably changes the course of the inning because you don't have an open base. But yeah, great effort. And I'm not faulting Verdugo for falling over. I'm just pointing out how little how little things could have changed it. <sighs> Says Otani. And Soto gives some glove claps for Verdugo's effort. He likes it. He's also worried that he's hurt, but he likes it. Now Freddie Freeman is going to be up because they intentionally walk Mookie Betts because he's a righty. And the lefty pitcher is probably going to get the lefty batter out. You know, better odds. That's what baseball is all about, matchups. But instead, first pitch, fastball inside the Freddie Freeman. He absolutely smokes it. He absolutely knows it. He goes Statue of Liberty pose. Just bam! And then holds his torch up in the air and parades himself around the bases. First pitch, fastball, low and into a lefty. That's a lefty hitter's sweet spot. And he absolutely knew it. Look at the scan of the crowd here. It's, it's awesome, really. I mean... Just the mouths go 
drop. I like this kid in the back right here. His mouth is just way open. Just everyone's just got open mouth. Look at the two hoodies in the second row there. They're climbing on each other. They're celebrating Dodgers with the curly hairs, jumping up and down and filming. It's just madness the whole way through. Everyone's jumping up and down, and then they find there's someone that they're with to hug, I like the scarf guy. I like the, the lady in the bomber jacket, and I'm guessing her husband. They turn, instant hugs. You got hugs behind them. Really cool scene. Hugs on the left there, those two guys. That couple, maybe family, those three are hugging. Uh, more hugs down the line. Freddie just celebrating. Three-way hug and high fives going on there at the very end. Really cool. Really cool. What does Freddie say here? Oh, yeah, baby. It's not that. Dodger time, baby. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Otani's reaction. Of course they got cameras on Otani. You need to do. Oh, Oh, Gratterall with the Kenny Powers hair. Mookie's pumped up. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Walk off grand slam. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Jack Flaherty comes in just big old mouth, like wide mouth frog. Wide mouth frog. Look at it. Look, look at this angle. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is looks like Jack Flaherty's trying to stretch his face in half. What's going on there? We got a good water cooler dump on Freddie who makes some good faces. Oh, 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 oh. Muncie laughs. He's like, what was that sound? Freeman, what was that? Tay Oscar's there, Mook. It's like fucking they all hang out together too. Top of the lineup. Gonna haunt me in my dreams. Damn. I like that. Yep. I didn't like it. Blitzball Battle 5 comes out November 4th. It's really fun. It's reality show meets baseball meets wiffle ball in a warehouse. I play my team. We're in search of redemption. You can watch. We're game one. Check it out. Wrong hand.